Okay, so um, this is the first entry of my video log. I'm going to be studying Korean. Uh, actually, I have been studying Korean for a little while. This is a little bit of a delayed first log. Um, and I wanted to, to make, um, yeah, have a record and see, I don't know if anyone's going to be watching and was, or is studying Korean and may want to uh, find this at all useful. Um, but maybe something to help motivate me to stay focused while, while studying. I, I wanted to do this video. Um, I studied, in terms of my languages, I studied other languages before Korean. Um, Jap most recently Japanese for the past seven years. Yeah, crazy. Seven years. And people will often uh, compliment me and say, oh, your Japanese is great. How long, you, you, it's so good. And I'll say, yes, I've been studying it for seven years. And they're like, it's so good for seven years. And they're like, wait a minute. Seven years is a long time. Can we both, yeah, yes it is. Um, I didn't live in Japan for seven years <laughs> by any means, but still. Seven years is long enough that you really can't say to someone, wow, only seven years? No. Yeah, so, um, but my Korean is brand new. I've been doing it for uh, about about a month. Um, I started on Thanksgiving. I was studying for the Japanese JLPT, which is a language proficiency test. I, was, I took it up in Portland on the first Sunday in December, I believe it's December 3rd, I'm not sure exactly. And um, I guess I'm a little bored with Japanese after so many years. I kind of feel like I want to do something else. And I also um, had fun uh, initially when I was studying uh, Japanese because I, I took a, a class here at the uh, local community college, Pima Community College here in Tucson, and I uh, made friends. It was it was fun. Um, whereas if I continue studying Japanese, it's all by myself because uh, everyone else that was in that class uh, uh, all went through different ways. Either they continue studying or most likely moved on to other things. So. Yeah, uh, so Korean, um, I'm hoping to uh, get, well, I'd like to do as well as I can. My goal uh, when I decided was just focus on Korean for six months. Just do this. This is my primary, my, my, my main hobby, goal, language, whatever, for six months. And just stay focused for six months and then see, uh, evaluate at six months uh, whether I want to continue. Hopefully, I'll have achieved uh, some pretty some level of proficiency there where it's, it's, it's useful to me. Um, after six months, I hope I get results. Yeah, and maybe I'll go back to Japanese after. I don't know. I love anime. Anime is so stupid. I can just sit back after work and uh, watch it and not think about anything. It's great. Um, yeah, there's kind of a stereotype that people studying foreign languages are smart, but in fact, I like anime and I liked, uh, before Japanese, I liked reading uh, stupid thriller novels in, uh, in German. I did nothing intellectual with the language whatsoever. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, I've always kind of been curious about Rosetta Stone. Obviously, it's been a big company, been around for many years, uh, going back to the uh, to back to when computers um, hit the scene, I suppose. Uh, and although I've dabbled in Rosetta Stone, I've never gone beyond the beginner course uh, courses. So I've kind of wondered uh, how well would I is Rosetta Stone at, uh, at teaching languages? How fluent? Are you can you speak it more, uh, speak it better? Uh, do you sound more natural? Do you use more natural sounding conversational languages, uh, expressions when you're talking? Uh, because Rosetta Stone really drills these these same expressions that seem really easy to remember, um, yet so good over and over and over and over. And they use pictures and context that looks really good actually. Um, they don't teach you a lot of vocabulary. Things like if you do about a thousand words total. If you do five, the, the long course is the Spanish or the uh, Chinese. Uh, Korean is an abbreviated course. It's like um, three levels out of five. So yeah, three fifths, definitely less vocabulary involved. Um, by doing less vocabulary, though, I see that as a plus because um, when you're learning the language, especially in the beginning, 
uh, well, your vocabulary is tiny, and yet your goal is to, well, besides vocabulary, is to learn grammar. Grammar is a really big deal. Uh, you can't do very much without, without grammar. You uh, even, um, if, if you can look up every word in a sentence, if you don't know the grammar involved, you still may have no idea, or you may not be able to look up the words in the sentence because you really can't figure out what part of speech or what something is or what the heck, uh, how it relates to the words in the sentence. So um, by keeping the vocabulary small in Rosetta Stone and focusing very much on the grammar, I think that's a great way uh, to uh, to get spend your first six months or whatever to, to get get started in the language. Um, and of course, I want to take the course. The course at the community college is after work. It's great for me. It's uh, other I think they may offer a Spanish course, but otherwise, um, the Chinese course they uh, would not fit my schedule it's during the, the day I work during the day. But Korean is in the evening for whatever reason. Very happy about that. Um, and I'm hoping that will be fun. Um, the class seems to be close to full. Um, and when taking Japanese, uh, one concern was that although the, the initial level one course, uh, you tend to get, having enough students is not a problem, uh, people tend to drop out and not continue on to the next level, either because it's too hard, they don't pass the course, or they're too busy, um, whatever reason. So that's looking like that's not a problem. That's great. It's just the second semester, so it's not intermediate by any means yet. That will be next year, I suppose, except they don't offer third and fourth semester Korean at community college. I would have to go to university <sighs> and spend thousands of dollars, which will not happen, but anyway, yeah. So um, I'm studying right now very much with Rosetta Stone. Um, I'm enjoying it. I've been doing it for a month now, and I'm combining it with Anki, and um, I'm basically, uh, Rosetta Stone obviously doesn't want me to do this. They <laughs> probably do everything they can uh, using Adobe Flash and uh, protection with the website to not let you just copy and paste uh, their material <laughs> into other programs, uh, but you can still do it. <laughs> it's just slightly more annoying, but definitely still do it on computers. It is very versatile. And I'm copying it. Um, most of the every sentence that every new sentence into into Anki. Um, and if you don't know Anki, it is uh, you can Google it. It's a great spaced repetition flashcard application. And one criticism of Rosetta Stone is that it doesn't. I mean, although each lesson repeats these sentences over and over and over and over and over again, once you finish that lesson. Um, it doesn't repeat the previous lesson so much. It does a little bit. It does a little bit, but not too much. And certainly once um, you move on from level one to level two, um, or rather, I guess it's split into 12, so from the first four, kind of one section, when you get to section five, I don't think it's gonna repeat the first section stuff too much. Not like uh, natural Korean or a book where um, words will repeat themselves over and over. They use the more common words. Uh, I think they're going to introduce new material in the new lessons and focus on that new material and, and, and try to avoid the old material. But Anki will, with, with its spaced repetition algorithm, it will repeat everything. Um, I have it set up also so on Anki so that it's side one. I'm basically listening to the uh, professional native speaker, which is fantastic audio. On Rosetta Stone. Uh, they have great, great audio, uh, which I love. And then side two has the picture, which I kind of did a little mini screenshot um, of their uh, picture with the Hangul, and I use that to check myself. I'm um, avoiding translation as much as possible, um, but I guess as I get to more advanced grammar, maybe that will become uh, more difficult. We'll see. But I kind of like the, uh, I definitely like the full immersion uh, feeling you get from doing Rosetta Stone as opposed to um, Duolingo or whatever uh, other apps out there that do use translation a lot. Translation is 
beneficial, easy to understand, but it doesn't seem to sink in and uh, give you the same experience that full immersion does. Yeah. Ah, so this is my first video. Um, I'll probably do some more videos. Um, I have a whole month that I've been studying, so there's more things I want to say, but 10 minutes is probably enough for the first video. So uh, if, you, if you're still watching, thank you, and I hope you continue to watch.